Now let's talk about even and odd extension of a Cauchy function. Even extension and odd. So here, here's, a, here's what I'm trying to think about. Let's say f of x is x on an interval 0 to 4. The question is, what is the even extension of f of x. And the way you handle this is first draw the graph and the graph is y equal to x on 0 to 4. That's what you have. You have, you have this graph, 0 to 4. And uh, since this doesn't have a left side, you can't talk about the symmetry. You can't say this is an even function or an odd function, right? However, uh, you can think about an extension of this function so that it's defined from negative 4 to 4. So we're, we're trying to fill, it, fill in this unknown part here. Okay? And we want to fill in this unknown part so that the resulting function is an even function. That's what an even extension is, right? So if you were to draw the graph, what would it be? Be like this, right? It will be a it, it will be a V-shaped thing because only when you have that you have a symmetry with respect to the y-axis. Remember, it being an even function means uh, with respect to the y-axis it has this symmetry. Okay? Now, what would be the what would be the equation for this side? Negative x. Y equals to negative x, right? So if you were to write out what f of x is, it's like this: f of x is like x if x is between zero to four, because that's what it was before. But if you were to ask what's going to happen <coughs> from negative four to zero. then there you should have the graph as negative of x. So that's how you write the answer. So in other words, uh, in other words, formulas will be like this. If, if you had a function f of x, Uh, and you wanted to extend, uh, let's say you, you had the function defined from x, say, 0 to some number l. And you wanted to have an even function, then what would you do? You want to define the other parts as, no, you want to define the other parts as f of negative x. If you do that, you're going to have same values whether you plug in positive x or negative x, and therefore the resulting function will be even. Remember, uh, even function means f of x even means that whether you evaluate the function at x or evaluate the function at negative x, so if you evaluate the function here or where, whether you evaluate it here, your values, the y values, are equal. That's what an even function is, right? And uh, if you think about it, if you define your function this way, you end up with an even function. So uh, here's another example. Let's see. Let's say this is example one. What if you had example two? What if you want uh, f of x 
equal to e to the x on, say, 0 to 3. What's the even, what's the even extension? Then the answer is simply f of x is, when it's our, when you're, when your x is positive, there's nothing to be done. It's the same as the original. But if x is negative, what would you do? What do you put here? What does this formula say? E to the negative x. The resulting function, if you draw the graph, uh, the right side will be like that, and the left side will be like this, and you will end up with, actually, it's rather pointed, so let me, it's not a parabola, it, it's rather, it, it, it's pointed here, so you don't have a well-defined tangent line at the origin, it's, it's, it's pointed here. Okay? So that's the result that you get. Okay? Now let's turn to turn our attention to odd functions. What's the formula for odd functions? Oh, so this, this is the formula for even even extension. So this is the even extension. That's the formula for the even extension. Formula for the odd extension is. Let's state the example three. Example three, uh, same as same as example two, but odd extension. So how would you do it? That's the question. And for that, let me state the form formula first. And hopefully you'll you'll be convinced when you see the formula. So the way when you take a function and do an odd extension is when you take the function and you don't do anything when it's already positive. You should agree with the original one. Because extension of a function means you already have something that's defined, and you only want to add some more information to the other side so that it possesses certain symmetry, right? So when x, when x is negative, what you want to do is you want to put a minus. Okay. So that this minus makes the left side graph go under when the right side is over. When the right side is under, then you make it go above by, by this minus. Okay. So using this formula, what will be the answer? So for, for that, that above case, the, what's the odd extension? f of x equals to e to the x as before from 0 to, to 3. But if your x is between negative 3 to 0, what do you do? Negative, negative e to the negative x. And the resulting graph will be like this. It's up here, like that. But on the opposite side, like this. Uh, there is a slight technicality here. Um, the resulting function, you can't say it's odd because uh, of this value here. Uh, here's a, a closed circle, and this one really has an open circle. So uh, in terms of the graph, it's not perfectly symmetric with re respect to the origin. If, if you want an odd extension, then they should either both be open circles or both be closed circles. Uh, so there's a slight technicality, but uh, 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 let's not think too much about that. Okay, so uh, it's almost an uh, odd function. Okay? I think uh, the textbooks, when they ask you these questions, what they tend to do is they don't 
define the function on the closed interval, but rather on the open interval. So it's 0, 3, and without the endpoint. So you, you actually start with open circle, so that uh, this one will also be open circles. So that's, that's like the minor thing there. But uh, overall, this is uh, what you need to do if you have a function and you want to find an odd extension or an even extension. The final comment here. What would you get if you took this function and took an odd extension? Let's think about that. If we took the odd extension, so uh, if I took this and an odd extension, then you would have your function as x doesn't change for x between 0 to 4. What would I write here? Yeah, it will be negative of negative x from zero, negative 4 to 0. But negative of negative x is x, right? It's positive x. And then think about what this means. It means that f of x is just x. Does that make sense? Why does it make sense? Because f of x is equal to x is? It's already an odd function, right? So uh, if you had this on the right side, then the natural one that you would get just if you didn't change the definition but just expanded the interval from negative 4 to 4, that would be an odd function, right? So uh, that's another way to verify that this formula indeed does give you an, an, uh, an even function. Uh, and, and also that, that this one does give you an odd function. Okay? So we verify that this does make sense, even in this case, too. Do you have any questions? Yes? Uh, should that less than or equal to be just a less than for e to negative e? Oh, yes, e yes. Uh, it should be strictly less. Uh, that's because you can't have two different values for a function. So if you plug in 0, uh, if I had the inclusion in both cases, then you would have positive 1 for 0 here, whereas this one will say it's negative 1. But functions are not allowed to give you different values. Right? So, so thank you. Uh, that was an error. I shouldn't have put that there. And that's why I was saying that this should be an open circle.